Server is back up. Okay, let's see. I have no idea what's gonna happen, you guys. I, I really have no 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 idea. Um Okay, let's see. Title cup. I mean, I see events page was up. No, events page is wait. Events page is hanging, you guys. It's hanging. It's hanging. Yeah, it's hanging. It's not loading this. I'm clicking. <laughs> Wait, what? I got my game? All right, let's go. We're playing round five. Um, What am I doing here? Okay, let's play B6 once again. Yeah, I mean, this, if this event goes through to the end and they count, the, I, I'm betting the event's going to, maybe the event will happen and chess.com will just be like, you know what? We, we, we're not going to count this towards our title cup or whatever. That's my guess. Um, the C5 here. Thanks for the got punk for the prime. Let's go here. Thanks for the Clyde times for the four two. Fakali for the ten. Doctor Jammy. Thank you to Rena Farkas for the four. Can you offer a draw? What's the rule? You can offer a draw at move thirty. That's the rule. Okay, let's go here and trade some B shops. I just want to check and see what the rule was. Um, I could trade here maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna trade. Takes, I guess I just take. He'll probably take with a pawn, I'm guessing. I might just castle my king to the queen side here. I'm debating. He also has knight d4, I just realized as well. Takes with a pawn. Okay. Which I kind of did misplay. I'm going to castle queen side. I'm betting this is wrong, but I'm going to go for it anyway. It was a3. Um, I think I'm going to go queen b5 here. This looks like a weird move, but I'm going to do it anyway. And king b7 and maybe try to bring the knights in now let's go here if a4 there's always bishop b4 okay it goes 92 logical let's go here probably i'm gonna play h6 g5 somewhere if i had to guess but we'll see what he does go here in g5 It's gonna be sharp at least so it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit complicated thank you so much for the 68 for the 20 months appreciate it um i know g5 looks like a decent move here it's there i can play knight of five i can also go g4 maybe i don't know if g4 is a good move or a bad move not really sure um uh knight of five i kind of like so if he plays g4 he's committing to king side stuff go g4 of course logical um, so maybe B5 is not even, maybe not. I know H5 looks logical, protect the pawn, probably goes knight C2. The key is how do I activate this knight on A6? The knight on A6 is the one big weakness I have here in the position. So I think I'm going to go back and maybe knight C6 if I can get it in time. It goes B5, logical. Um, actually, very. Uh, I might be in some trouble here. Let's go. Wait, I got to be careful. I have H4, H3 maybe. My position's kind of bad. Let me think. Yeah, knight b8 was a very bad move by me. Um, um, so I'll go here. I'm going to try to put my bishop on b6. I mean, my knight on b8 is just so bad here. I don't even know if takes. Yeah, I'll go here and bishop b6, I guess. So rook c4, maybe. And he's got knight a4, and if I take, I lose something. Pro yeah, I mean, this game I just played poorly. But considering how lucky I was in the previous set of games, I really don't have any right to complain. Um, we'll go here. This looks really, really ugly. Really, really ugly for me. I'm gonna have to hope that I can get some h4, h3, and pray. Well, pre move pawn takes. Back. No, this has not gone well at all. It was night before. Here. I'm like hanging by the thinnest of threads here. And by that, it means I'm losing. Knight c6. Yeah, actually, knight c6 just wins, kind of. Here's this quick $5 out of Bill versus Pop. 
Thanks. Interesting. Yeah, it's just lost. I'll try to do something here, but of course I'm completely lost in this end game. Knight B8 was probably just losing. Knight B8 was just a losing move. I had I had to put my knight on C7 and pretend. After he played B5, it was terrible. Um, unless there's some miracle. I could take, maybe. G3. Go here. I mean, of course I'm completely lost, but I'm trying to do something with, like, H4, maybe. Now, let's see. If I go, like... How do I do this? Maybe I just go, like... Here. I also could have just gone rook a8, I suppose. I mean, of course I'm completely lost. That's so not really in doubt here, but I'm just trying to go for something where hopefully the game just drags on. Goes g4. I mean, I do have knight h no knight h4 is no good. I guess I'll go here. Go here, maybe. Here, I guess. Nah, this isn't working anywhere. I should have gone rook c8, actually, but... I, I had rook c8, maybe, with some miracle. Now it's just losing. He has, he has 20 years on the clock. I should have probably made a draw, but whatever. Thank you, Sneros, for the 18. Considering the bad position I had the previous games, can't complain about that one. I mean, just a bad game. I should never have castled queenside, and knight, knight b8 was just losing, I think. If I, look at, if I look at knight b8, I think it was just a losing move. Uh, bad game. Yeah, Whatever. All right, let's watch some other games. Let's watch Fabiano. Uh, not that one. Um, I think knight, after knight beat, I was just lost, basically. Yeah, b5 was very... Yeah, knight c7, b5 is still bad, but knight b... Should have fought till the end? What do you mean? There was no fight until the end because I just had this terrible knight on b that was just losing. No, I was playing at like a 2500. Maybe I could have swindled it, but not against him. Um, oh, and I have queen b5... No, wait, queen b5, what did he just take? Yeah, I mean, maybe a computer can find some way. Magnus quit? I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it happens. Not a big deal. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Fabiano. Okay, now it's working, apparently. Obviously, now it's working. Um, Magnus got disconnected. Oh, great. Lovely. Yeah. Magnus lost, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I have a feeling this is not going to count. If you were to ask me... If you were to ask me if you if you were to ask me, I would I would bet you that this is not gonna count. Like I, I'm betting you, I would bet you almost any amount of money that like it might be play out till the end. It might play out till the end, but I don't think it's gonna count for the title cup standings. Yeah. Okay, what do we have? Knight five, knight c four. Um Chazagam down. Thank you to CCM for the four months in a row. Thank you so much, CCM. Yeah. Okay, Fabiano is losing, by the way, to Artoon here. He's losing. But let's see, let's see if he can pull off the Miracle too, or he's going to lose as well. I assume Fabio will lose just because White's Rooks are too active. I mean, like, Rook A7 wins. He missed it. Uh, maybe Fabio will survive. Maybe. Rook B6, Rook A6, Rook B7, Queen H5, Queen H5. Yeah, he's going to lose here. Queen H7, maybe? F3? G, F3, I guess. Rook B7 or Rook B6? B7. If you're white here, you don't want to trade off the rooks, basically. Rook C6, maybe? C4, maybe? Queen G3, draw! Oh, Fabi gets a miracle draw here. Thank you so much to Bavis for the 12 months. Thank you so much to uh, Marie M. Bad for the prime. Appreciate it. Fabi gets a very lucky draw there. Very, very lucky draw. He draws. Okay, let's see. Are the games showing? Okay, now it appears the games are actually working. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Kramnik might be playing, but I don't know. Yay! just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Let's see. 
Thanks for the numb scholar for the 10 months. Appreciate it. So, all right. The M in Pranesh is Murithinam. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. New year, new me, bad chess, right? New year, new me, but more bad chess, apparently. Um, Levy's still playing, I guess. Yeah, let's see. Oh, but I now it loads. <laughs> One of the L class goes rook versus rook. Okay. I think there's an Archangel wing for the 15. Pretty sad to see, though, not going to lie. Seeing Levy at 26, 2670. Just it just it sort of speaks volumes about something that I've spoken about a lot recently, which is that um when you start basically doing content, not content, but when you start teaching specifically at a level that's way below the level you play at, like your rating goes off the cliff. And this this is pretty much applicable across the board. Doesn't matter um what level you're at. If you start teaching a lot for beginner level specifically, the level of your play just goes off the cliff. Um and that's why many people who actually teach chess professionally, specifically in New York, um AGMT TV do not actually play competitive chess for that exact reason. Uh, people who play people who play competitive chess, like there are a lot of like FM IM level players in um, let's play night three in uh, in New York City specifically who teach all the time and they just stop playing over the board for this exact reason. Daniel's strong enough, and Daniel does not teach beginners. Daniel's teaching people who are generally like isn't Daniel teaching a lot of very strong? Um, he's teaching kids who are like 22, 2300, I think. Daniel's not teaching kids who are um, he's not teaching kids who are pure beginners. Levy's content is geared towards absolute beginners who, who have never played the game of chess before. So it's, it's very, it's very, actually, it should be in emote mode. Um, it's, it's legit a thing. Like, wait, what? There we go. Magnus is playing again. Is Magnus on four out of five, too? Yeah. Good D3. I don't, who's Lilliper? I don't know who this is. It won't even, doesn't even load. Yeah, chess.com. It's just completely cooked. I don't even know who this is. Let's go A3, B4. Our family. Go B4. Oh, Nihal's in chat. So if Nihal's in chat after that loss, he probably couldn't reconnect or something. Lost multiple games. Sorry, man. That, that's pretty sucky, by the way. I'm not going not gonna to lie. Like It's pretty sucky to have to deal with that. Like you come in ready to play title Tuesday, New Year, and immediately the servers just die. Now, I could trade. I'm going to go rookie one, pressure the pawn. I mean, he has D4, he's D4. Let's see what he does. Actually, why didn't I just take... Why didn't I just take right away? What's wrong with me? I'll go here. Maybe bishop B3 somewhere as well. Can take. I don't like my position at all here, by the way. I can also go C4 here, which. I mean, I don't like anything I've done in this game. I'm very unhappy with my general position here. So, since I'm so unhappy, I'll just go here, maybe Queen F1. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm legitimately just like moving pieces for no good reason. Goes a5. Um, I don't think that was the best, but I think he had better than that. But I don't want to go b5. I don't really want to trade. I could play rook a c1, maybe. Could go knight f1. Ah, this is pretty ugly for me. Um, that's where I need to think. Okay, I don't want to take. Don't want to take on a5. That's I could take on a5, maybe go c4. It's fairly ugly, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for this. I, I don't like the concept of taking. Thank you, Gary Kasparov. Appreciate it. Thanks so much to Gary. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for the thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you for the uh five month resub. Thank you so much, Gary Kasparov. Uh, I played C4. I was hoping I'd get C4, but he played it instead. But I could still take maybe. I can also go D4, which I think I'm gonna go D4 here, just explode the position. There's also 90. I mean, I don't like my position, but I think it's kind of okay. I mean, I assume I take, take, take. Yeah, I don't like my position, but I think I'm kind of okay here, oddly enough. 
He's 94, knight c4. Still a little bit worse, I think, but seems playable. Just take. Just take. I don't love it. Queen e4, by the way, is losing because there was just bishop f5. So, you know, it's a dangerous position to play. Let's see what he does here. He's getting a little bit low on time, so I'm going to have to try to press him hard on the clock. He does take, which I was not actually expecting, to be honest, but... Eh, still pretty ugly. Go here, maybe. I, got, I need to move fast. So the way that I win this game is to start pressing him on the clock. I got to press him on the clock. I'm going to go rook d1 here. D5. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do I have g3? Um, go here. I have to be very careful how I play this position. He's getting low on time. So if I can just get him a little bit lower, he's probably going to tilt and blunder. And he's actually already in a lot of trouble here because I have this big threat with takes and knight f6 looming. f5 I don't think works. At least that's why I spent my time there. But wait, what? Huh? What? Wait a second. Wait a second. I have bishop... Wait, what? Huh? Takes, takes, bishop d1, bishop... Don't I just get two b's? I think I just get two b's here. What is it? What was king h7? That was a horrible, horrible move. Now, I think I should take with the rook. Yeah, I just take with the rook, and I put the bishop on b4, d4, and technically this is just winning. Yeah, good. There we go. Another good win. Let's go... Here and bishop d4 and bishop, actually bishop f3 and bishop b7, I just win easily. Yeah, that's just very simple. Yeah, it's just very simple. A6, a7. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got the win. Thank you so much, that Maria and Bad for for uh for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yay! Thank you to Rocket Man Twitch for the 17 months. Thank you so much to Rocket Man Twitch. So we got the win. Um five out of six. I don't know why I'm watching this game. Let's see. What else do we have? Frederick Svein on five out of five. Let's see what we get here. So keep rolling. A big shout out to everybody who's watching on this fine Tuesday, Tuesday morning, afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great start to your new year's 2024. Thank you, Sherry Tan for the prime. Those of you guys who had a, um, B4 might've been B4. I thought B was B4 winning. Yeah. B4 was very good with B3. Okay. He didn't go for it. And now it's just an easy, it's just going to be a draw, I think. Rook c4. Yeah, it should be a draw. I think it's a stream saver for the 19. They jump su. So maybe black can go a3 and run the king up, maybe, with a4. Yeah, king e6, king d5, king d3. Takes a4, rook a3. F6, f3, g5. Still a chance for black to win. Yeah. Apparently, this is losing to rook c8, rook c4, but not sure we'll get that. Yeah. Let's see. If rook c4 played here, you can take. Rook b4, also quite good. Yeah, rook b4, rook b3 should be winning for black. Yeah, rook b3. Rook b3, a3, king c4, king c3, king b2. Just winning. So, looks all very good. Yeah. Can I watch Magnus's game? Rook F3, by the way, just wins here. Rook F3 or A2. Very simple. Rook F3. So Shaq's, Big Shaq is going to be on 6 out of 6 here. Thank you so much to Boss and Buckeyes for the 18. Um, well, so, yeah. Sha Shaquille O'Neal is tied for first. 6 out of 6 alongside Corrales. Um, there's Sadwani on five and a half, then Magnus, myself, and a whole slew of other top players on five. Magnus's game, um, how do I pull it up? It's Magnus Carlson.
So Magus won. You guys said he was losing. Wait, he won this? <laughs> King H5 just wins, by the way, but... Wow, he allows H5 and then he must... Wow. That's so bad. So bad from Don Shanko. So bad. All right. Um, anyway, next round coming up. Raonic and Rustamov on five and a half. Two guys on six, then everybody on five. It wasn't even the last time he hit a minute. Wow, yeah. To what you said, Levy, his peak was 2860 last year in January. Well, I mean, the ratings go up and down, but pretty consistently, I think if you look at Levy's rating, it is lower. And his over-the-board rating especially is much lower than it was um, back then. So... I mean, it, it is what it is, but it's just one of those realities in chess that, that's never going to change. It's just one of those things where you start teaching at a level that's not your level. Your, your, your actual chess level is going to go way down. That's just the reality. I mean, it's, it, that's not to be nasty, but I've seen that for many, many years in New York. So there are many people who teach chess who are rated between, let's just say, 2350 and like 25, 2500-ish, maybe a little bit above. And what those guys do is they literally, legitimately, they're worried also about their lessons because when you're teaching lessons privately, you think the parents of kids are going to look at your rating and your title and like how good you are. And so they just stop playing over the board for that exact reason because they know they're going to lose rating points. And so they stop playing and that, that way the rating looks better on paper. Yeah. So, um, why, when do you start prep for the candidates? I'm probably not going to prep at all. Just show up and play chess. Yeah. Yeah. There is no rating decay. There's no rating decay in chess. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's good or bad. There's no rating decay. Like you, you could say, I mean, you could say it's good. You could also say it's bad. Like it, it cuts both ways. It cuts both ways. Um, we're playing Benjamin. I'm going to keep um, thinking whether I want to play B3 or G3. I'm going to play Knight 3 G3. Something very slow. Yeah, let's play very slow here. G6. Okay, which one do I want to play? I'll go here. I can play D3, C4 like I did against Wesley, but I'm going to play D4. I'm going to go C4 this time. Play something very, very slow here. Nothing exciting. Um, go B3. There's B5. Interesting choice. I can obviously trade. A4 is an interesting move as well. Yeah, let's go A4 here. You can play B4. You can also trade. I mean, it's either BC4 or B4, I assume, are the two moves. But let's see which one he goes for. takes interesting i did not expect that actually i thought he would go for something a little bit different okay let's play rook c1 it's always knight h4 okay he goes knight a6 i go knight h4 you can also trade which is kind of weird but maybe not so bad also knight b3 i'm actually thinking a little bit too long here i think um it's also actually what about knight e5 actually i like knight e5 here just pressure the pawn on c6 I guess I pre-move the capture if he takes. Some weakness here for Benji. There's also bishop a3 to hit everything. Not so easy for him to play. If I go bishop a3, is this actually bad? I don't think it's bad, so I'm going to play it. I think I'm okay here. It was knight b4, log very, very logical move. Um, could trade on e4, knight b3 is also, e3 is also reasonable. Um, I don't really want to play bishop b4. Cd5 is a move. I don't like that either. e3, g4. Okay, I'm... I need to treat this like a real game because the way that Benjamin and I are using our time, this is basically, this is effectively a real game. So I can trade. 
Big G4, Bishop E5 doesn't look right. Trade E3 doesn't look right. Knight F3 is a move. E3, then F6, I guess. It's also Knight B... Knight B3, what's his move? Don't really want to trade. I think I'm just going to go E3. Keep it simple here. Yeah, this is very much a real game that we're playing. Very, very real game. Takes, very surprising to me. Um, now, I can also take on E4 here, but I think I'll just take. It was Rook D8, logical. Now I have C5, maybe. I play CD5, Rook D5, Knight C4. Very messy. Um, could sack a queen for the memes, but I don't think it's right. So it takes, takes. I think I'm going to go for this in Knight C4. Tricky position. Very, very tricky position here. I don't know what's going on exactly. I guess I'll pre-move this in case he takes. I don't think he will, but it's, it's a good pre-move. This song is not doing it for me, by the way. This song is really not doing it. It's not, it's not the right song. Clean. Mr. Clean. Let's go here in 94. Yeah, the song is not the right song for this game. I'm playing like this deep conceptual positional game. And did I just blunder? I think I did. I just, did I just blundered, right? I did. Um, shoot. Just great. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, I can't play queen d4. What the heck? That hangs a knight. Oh, great. Yeah, I have to go here, and I mean, I just messed this up. It's insane. There, I guess. I mean, e7 is still a very big weakness here. And the bishop on f5 is still weak. Like, I'm worse here, but I have chances because of the imbalance. You play rook b1. I mean, h3 is a g4 also a move, maybe. I had a fives move. What do I want to do? I think I'll go here to hit the queen. Why did I do that? That was stupid too. Uh, what am I doing? Now I'm just messing this up. Oh, he hung the queen. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, good God. Good God. That's, that's terrible. Then you white series with prime. Then you kid a key. Oh my God. That's going to be a clip both on my channel and Benjamin's. What the heck is... And then he hung it a second. Yeah, serious game, right? Yeah, thank you so much to Sickle Lip. Yeah, but once I declined it, if he doesn't see it, then then it's like, then yeah, Rook B8 makes sense. Yeah, yeah, terrible. Terrible, horrible. Yeah, horrible. Thank you so much to Gar for the tier one. Thank you so much to Gar. Terrible. Thanks for CR Leo for the prime. Yeah. Hey, it's a win. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. It's been a very weird title, too. I think v Vuitton is best for 100 bits. Yeah. 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 Benjamin is cursing in German. He speaks, he speaks uh, Dutch, not German. Yeah. Yeah. Is this my clip or his clip? No, this is my clip. Where's the clip of Benjamin? I want to see the clip of Benjamin. I think he's a bit of manual ear because he is streaming it. Where, where's the uh, Where's the clip of Benjamin? I, I want to see the clip of Benjamin. I think it's Hoots for the 12 months. I think it's Nico Bry for the prime. Magus Drew against Navarra. Nice. Yeah. 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 
No, I, I want to see the clip from Benjamin. Thank you so much to Quest Code over the hundred bits. Yeah. Cause like I, I missed it once and then he hung it a second time, but like, yeah. Polish fighter is Jan Krzysztof Duda. Yeah. Here's a clip. Okay, let's, let's let's watch this clip. Okay, okay, here we go. So let's stop the music. Let's watch this clip. Okay, let's watch this clip. Change the scene. Um, is this, this no? Uh, what's what's the scene? Um, there we go. Let's watch this clip. Uh, let's go here. <laughs> that that's so bad. That's so bad. Like he didn't he didn't even see it either. Like we both just missed it. But I saw it after I played Rook F one. But he just completely missed it the whole way. He just completely missed it the whole way. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> crazy stuff. But all right, let's put the music back on. Let's keep rolling. I think it was Daniel Machado for the 30s. I think it was Gary Casper for the 100 bits. Yeah. It's a backwards night move. Yeah. Yeah. That is a lesson in backwards night moves. Yeah. Oh, uh, you guys said Ollie Reza stopped streaming because he wasn't getting any subs. I saw someone said that, right? Wait, Chess Talk on tweet about Title Tuesday. Wait, what? Don't tell me they canceled it, did they? No, I hope they didn't. Chess calm. They tweet. We are aware that some members are experiencing 502 and everything else. We will pay today's prize and double the prize. Wait, what? Sorry, you guys. I mean, I, I don't speak English very well, but can someone explain this tweet to me? Because I don't understand it. Um. I don't understand this tweet. Thank you so much for the code over the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to uh, ZBGS for the prime. I don't understand it. It's saying we are aware that some members are experiencing disconnections, five or two errors. In consideration of Title Tuesday, players affected will pay today's prizes and double the prize. So they're, they're saying they're going to pay this tournament counts though, but they're going to double the prizes next week. Okay. Yeah. That's what it means. No, it's weird to me that they, because it sounds like they should be saying we're canceling the early title Tuesday, we're not paying prize, and then we'll double it next week. That's why I'm surprised. But anyway, whatever, let's keep going. Um, let's keep going. Karma just subscribed. I get Georg Meyer, I'm a six out of seven. Um, Round got six and a half. Mamad Yarov on a seven out of seven, by the way. Big Shaquille on seven. It doesn't count for the leaderboard, okay. Um, how do I want to play against him? Should I play B6 for the, no, or should I play A6 like Magnus? A6 really ineffective against Knight Let's go G6. Um, let's play, let's play a real opening. Let's play a real opening. I kind of want to play something. I could play a double Fianchito. Maybe I'll do this instead. Um, let's go C5 maybe. You can obviously trade if he wants to. So he does. Thank you so much to Trocar for the five gifts. Okay, we're going to get this old line. Um, this is one where I forget if you go bishop g7 or d6 first. I think I'm gonna delay with d6 and then knight d7 and go bishop g7 next move. I think this is like this was played in games between Garrick Sparrow and Vladimir Kramnik years ago. This whole like queen h4 thing or knight e1, very, very old school stuff. And basically, white tries to delay going here until you cast because white goes too early. There's h6 g5 or rook c5. Uh, okay, now I'll castle. I'll probably go queen h4 here because now I don't have h6 g5. It does okay. I think rook c7 is supposed to be fine with queen a8 if I remember this correctly. Did I just blunder knight b5? I'm I have rook c8, rook a8. Very lucky. I very nearly just blundered this game away. Yeah, very lucky because this was just a blunder trying to go queen a8. Okay, now I can play rook c7 and draw, but there's what's the saying? Fortis Fortuna Uvat. There's no what's it? Fortune, fa fortune favors the bold, I believe is the saying. So I mean, I can go a6, which I don't really want to play, but I'll do it. And then I'm going to go rook c7, queen a8 again, just because there's no knight b5 now. And rook c7, of course, is all very standard. Bishop h3. Bishop h3. 
Bishop h3. Why does that feel wrong? That feels wrong. I don't know why, but it just it feels wrong. I'll just go here anyway. I mean, he can take, obviously, if he wants to, but I, I just, I don't believe him. I also bishop f3 somewhere, too. Queen b8 was also interesting as well. Goes knight d5 now. Ah, because now the knight on d7 is under attack. Okay, logical. So, okay, so if I trade, takes, 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 rook c1, knight f6 looks good. Takes, 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 bishop c1. Huh. Okay, I have to take. That much is clear. C1, knight, knight c5, maybe? Okay, let's think here. I don't want to burn my whole clock, but take, take, bishop c1. Doesn't look good. Bishop d5, takes, 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 knight c5. I don't love it, but I think it's the correct play. So let's go for this. Because now he doesn't get e4, basically. He doesn't get to build the chain. So I'll pre-move knight c5. I mean, if he takes with a rook, he hangs a pawn, so. Or maybe not, actually. Maybe not. But whatever. Maybe he could have taken with the rook. Maybe. I'm not sure. But let's see what he does. So I'm going to go after this pawn here. I've got knight jumps as well with these knights. So I think my position's okay, but still. Long, long way to go. So many good players on six out of seven. Jeez, myself, Ferruja, Meyer, Maximus, Levon, Duda. Man, this tournament has become ridiculously strong. What did I do? I can just imagine an alternate universe. I, I like the pandemic never happens. I never really get into streaming. And Title Tuesday is just this weekly casual event with only like twenty six hundred level players. In another, in, in one of the, in, in another unit, in another. Um, in one of the other multiver multiverses, right? The, this that's what happened. I think it's Trocar for the hundred bits. There's another multi in one of the multiverse worlds. There, there's another universe where it's like Title Tuesday is going on right now. It's just like a bunch of twenty six hundred hundred hundreds playing for first place. Thank you to Coach Casey for the fourteen Yankees for the two. Thank you to Malawar for the tier one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there's there's a universe right now where Title Tuesday is going on. You like I don't know some twenty six hundred. Like I'm just using a name because I can't think of something specific, but like. I don't know, it's like a 2600, like, um, like, uh, like who, like Bruzon or somebody like just winning the event, or I, I don't know who else is 2600, just pulling a name out of my head. Um, now I could take and take, take and go back. And this is very, oh no, I can't, er, wait, if takes, 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 is he sacking the rook and going knight g5? That's actually just winning. So I can't do that. So he goes bishop h6. So I don't really want to trade the bishops here. Can I, maybe I can take, wait, if I take right away, what's going on? Takes, wait, knight d5, this is where I need to use my time. So if I don't, if I use my time and I play the best move, I'll win the game here. Knight d5, takes, six. knight g5, knight f6 is fine. Queen d4, knight f6 is fine. But takes b4, wait, b4, ah, maybe that's b4, knight a4, knight a4, knight g5, knight f6, knight a4, queen d4, knight f6. Knight a4, knight a4, I don't see it. I'm, I, Knight g5, knight f6. Take six, queen d4, knight f6. B4, knight a4. Bishop g2, knight f6. Okay, I'm gonna trust my instinct here. I'm either right or I'm completely wrong. I mean, if b4, I go knight a4. That's the whole point. Actually, b4, maybe I can take, take, and go knight e4 even. So let's pre-move this. I think he only saw the line with bishop h6 takes and then knight g5, but this is different. Yeah, I go here. And now, it's, now we're in the moment where it's show me the money. Either he can show me the money, or he's going to lose the game. And I think he's going to lose the game here. Okay, I have e6 as well. No, e6 not very good. Um, wait, how am I doing this? I'm too slow again. Let's go here. Go here. Now there's, I just got to move. Um, No, 
Okay, we got the win. Thank you, Maria Dillian, for the prime. Whew, tough game, but we got the win. Did Shaq win? Shaq is on 8 out of 8. So Shaquille O'Neal leading the tournament with 8 out of 8. I'm on 7. Bunch of other people as well. Thank you so much to Abisu. Thank you so much to Abisu for subbing. Appreciate it. So, yeah. Tough game. Do you play casually? Normally, I play casually, but the problem is Title Tuesday has become so strong now. Like, I, the game that I lost to Jeffrey, for example, there's so many strong players for, like, 2,700-ish that when I play too casually, bad things happen. So... Um, yeah, we're on 7 out of 8. I'm probably going to play uh, Mamad Yarov next game. We'll see what happens. Magus won, yeah. Okay, Aronian. Let's see. What's Aronian doing? Levon is in the game, kind of. Kind of. Um, Queenie 8 apparently is winning. I don't know why. Uh, just Queen H4. Yeah, and, and yeah, Lev's going to lose this game. Tough loss for Lev. It's also Rook G2. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, nice move, rookie two. What a move. Okay. Still winning for white, but going to be very hard to win. Okay, now it's just a draw. <laughs> Thank you to Igor Tiltado for the uh, two months. Thank you to Igor Tiltado. King H6. Ah, and it's a draw. Queen, Queen D3. You can't go up because it... Could... Oh, no, it's still... Yeah, it's still a draw, right? Queen e5, queen e1. Yeah, queen e1, it's a triangle. Could be, I mean, Lev could win. Move? Seriously? I mean, it's not even about, not about winning, but losing that. That's disturbing. Yeah, Magnus is, I think, five and a half, or six and a half out of eight. He's a half point back, so... Yeah, but the problem is, problem is Mamad Yarov's running away with it. Mamad Yarov is 8 out of 8. Isn't Mamad Yarov a good person? Anyone have problems with him? I mean, he's, he's pretty chill. Yeah, the top six players. Let's see, you have Aronian, Maxime, Faruja, Hikaru, Duda, and, and Mamad Yarov. I mean, that's 17 gay viewers insane. Well, Title Tuesday has, has become the biggest. I, I will just say it. It's the biggest event in chess. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Title Tuesday, in many ways, I think dwarfs any other event. It's, 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 it's something that I think, like, FIDE could probably learn a lot lot um, lot about chess from based on the viewership. I, I would say that it's just the right amount. It's, like, two hours, so everybody can get into it. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, so I think it's it's just the right amount. Kramnik is playing. I mean, Kramnik playing on chess.com after his, all his nonsense sort of speaks volumes about, about, about him. Um, so, yeah. It speaks volumes. All right. So I think that is the end. We're on the tie break. We're on the break now, right? We're on the break. I think we're on the break. So. All right. Going to take the break. Thank you to Gucci, Gucci Durag for the prime. Thank you to Gucci Durag. So, all right, you guys. Going to take, uh, take a short break because it's a six-minute break after round, round eight. There's still, are there any games? No, there are no games going. So we're going to take a short break, and I will be right back. Read Discord? Yay! What did I miss? Yeah. Just took $5 okay, well, well, let's see. So the final verdict, yeah, they're going to let the tournament finish, but results won't count towards title cup. Um, also, once again, you guys, uh, got, got, got to make this point. Um, this is the last day for 25% off subbing and gifting subs. So those of you guys who do have Prime, for example, make sure you do your Amazon Prime, connect Prime, um, your, your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account because Amazon owns... Uh, own switch they bought it for i think 900 900 million dollars a couple of years back um so make sure that you do connect it um that you connect your amazon prime to your twitch prime use it to sub of course amazon stock way too high 150 bucks to take money away from jeff bezos and give it to your favorite streamer additionally when you do gift subs today it is 25 percent off so instead of paying five dollars you will be paying um one fourth which i think is 375 if my math is correct so uh 375 for subs it's also or yeah, 375 for subs, 25% off today. I believe that does end. So if you are going to subscribe or give subs, make sure you do it today. Um, and I will be, uh, I will be right back in a second. So we'll keep rolling. And Amazon is way too, way too high, 149.94. So I'll be back in a second, and we'll keep on rolling, you guys. See you in one second.
Game RD just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket, thanks. Would you study openings as a 1500 Blitz player or would you just play on intuition and Yay! just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket, thanks. BCB just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket, thanks. underscore and underscore underscore cream just subscribed i come for hikaru i stay for the kill Yeah. All right, you guys. Let's keep going. All right. So we're on seven out of eight. We're one point out of first place. Um, we are trying to climb the leaderboard. Um, does Duda think he's too logical to be real? Duda? Too logical? What, what do you mean, Duda? What, what, are you guys being weird? What happened to the music, by the way? I lost the music. I don't know what happened. Um, did, did I miss something? I don't know. Not sure. But anyway, all right, let's keep going. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much to Amigo Grits for the Prime. Thank you, Ujan for the Prime. Thank you, LFG Centric. Thank you, Imagining Holders. Thank you, CR1. Thank you, Cheese and Cream. Thank you, Zeppelin BLD. Thank you, Piwubi. Thank you, Fat Gamer. Thank you so much to SJXC for the three. Dr. Furious George for the 35. Riggy for the 24 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, Duda is a punchline to a Polish joke. I wouldn't know the Polish joke because I don't really speak Polish, unfortunately. Um, all right, so. A lot of people on hunt Shaquille O'Neal trying to win this tournament. He's currently on eight points out of eight. Why no one consider Shaq the second coach for the candidates? He's very good. Well, I assume that all the Azaris are going to be helping uh, Nihat or, or no, what's his name? Nijot Abasov. Um, so that's what I think. Uh, I mean, if you were to ask me, I think that's what's going to happen. The idea 40 44 for the prime. He's over to Cheska Pates for the Ray with 11. They get a 3BD Kareem for the five. So yeah. Um, Polish defense in Poland, it was a good joke. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I assume that Nijat Abasov is in the candidates. Um, I do not expect Magnus Carlsen to play. The thing is, if Magnus Carlsen chooses to play in the candidates, it's really going to make everything he said over the last year and a half or maybe two years or however long since he expressed that he was not interested in being the world champion— um, it'll render all that really useless, and we won't be able to take him at his word anymore because he's said many times, and he's been very firm, actually. When he's made these comments, he's stuck to them. So to suddenly change his mind, it's really going to look like you can't really take anything he says seriously going forward. So I, I believe Magnus. I think that he he's standing up for what he believes in. I don't think he wants to play classical. Um, so I would be really, really shocked. I think the odds of Magnus playing are 0. 0. 0.001%. I just don't see it happening. I, I don't see it happening. I don't see him changing his mind to suddenly do it. I mean, he can, of course, as well as his rights, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm just scared because he will crush in the cans. Yeah, I'm super afraid of that, you guys. I'm so afraid. Okay, we get Shaq. Let's go. Um, should I play E4 or Knight of I want something slow and grindy. If I want something slow and grindy, I should not play E4. But um, no, let's go G3. Let's play something funny. Let's go G3. I don't know if this is the right choice, but let's play something funny. But he gives me e4. Now we're playing, oh, e5. Exciting. Something different. Not what I was expecting. I could play d4 here. Actually, it's kind of looking a little bit like a v. I, can I, I'm going to go over something weird. I'm going to play d4, knight e2, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do something kind of weird. Oh, he just plays d6. Okay, so I take. 
Castle. I can play C4 or Knight C3. I think I'm just going to play Knight C3. Keep it simple. Let's go Rookie 1. Knight D7, logical. I kind of want to play B3. This is like Cagnus Marlson would do this. So I'm going to go B3. This is a Magnus kind of thingy here. Um, with like Bishop B2. I think this is okay. I'm guarding the pawn on E4. Okay, I can play H3 or Queen D2. I think I'll play Queen D2 here. I think I'm better here. I just don't know if I'm like much better or only a little bit better. Uh, I think I'll play h3 allows a4, so I should probably play rook d1 first. You can always go bishop g4, but I have f3 and queen f2, which looks pretty good. I don't know if I play a4 or not. I assume he's going to try to go queen b6 somewhere. That's my assumption. I'm probably going to go h3 maybe. He does play a4. Interesting. Okay, so... I don't like a4 because now I'll just go h3. And I'm not really worried about a trade here on b3. Like, in a lot of these positions, I also have an interesting choice here to take with the a or the c pawn. I'm going to take with the a pawn just trust my instinct that it's correct. Because normally the pawn's on c4, so queen b6 is a very effective threat towards the pawn on b3. But this isn't a traditional king's Indian, so I have not played c4 yet. Now, it was queen e7. I can play rook e3. Um, I don't know if it's good. Rook e2 looks... Actually, don't know which square is right. Um, I'm gonna go to e3. I'm legitimately not sure whether e3 is right or wrong. He plays h5. Don't like that. I'll go f4 now. h4, g4. I mean, it's starting to look a little bit ugly. I mean, I understand his idea of h4 and bishop h6, but it's also e5. Okay, it goes d5. So now it gets excited. Now it's probably now I probably wish I had the rook on e2, of course. Um yeah, because now I can't take. Of course, now the rook belonged on e2, not e3, but whatever. Let's go e5. Knight e4. Um, can take. I think I'll just go here, though. I don't know if I like this from Shaq. He goes for knight e4 anyway. I can take here and play king h2, maybe. Um, bishop b4 is no good. Bishop a5 is no good. Okay, I got, I got to move here. I'm too slow. Too, 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 too slow. Uh, let's see. So if I take and play h4, he's got bishop g4. I don't really want to do that. That gives him a lot of counterplay. Um, don't want to go king h2 either. I don't want to play h4. I've messed this up, basically. Let's go here. Again, moving way too slowly in this game. I'm down way too much time on the clock here. I've got to pick up the speed. There's also c4 here, too. Also bishop e4. Um, maybe just knight f3. Happy New Year. Three years. You can play c5, but I go back and then I play knight d2. That's my idea, at least. It was rook a2. And play rook e Okay, I'm, again, I'm just way too slow this game. Way too slow. I have knight d2 maybe? No, knight d2 is losing. b4 is no good. Rook e2 maybe? I'm moving too slowly here, just too slowly. d4 I can take, take, and I'm fine. I mean, I'm probably not worse here, but I'm also not better either. I might have a knight d4, bishop. No, a knight, knight c5, queen b4. I might have had a trick. Okay, so I take, so I take, I take. Let's go here, I guess. Okay, it's kind of okay for me here. It's kind of okay. Queen f2 also may be playable, but I don't think I'm losing here, but I don't, I don't know if I can win. Time is my biggest issue, objectively. Um, I don't like b5, actually. Let's move my king. Go here, maybe. Yeah, I expected that. Um, how do I do this, though? Let's go here. I want to go e6, probably, somewhere. Like, e6 and queen g3 looks very dangerous. 
I go e6 here. What's he doing? I mean, I have queen e4 also. Okay, I have to take. It's just a, eh, it's just a draw. Pro, ah, eh, it's just a draw. Oh well, but it draws. I mean, it draws not what I need though, is it? Yuck. Could have played H four and rookie four maybe, but okay. I'm gonna have to try to flag him. The good news is time is. Wait, what is that? I go here. Wait, there might be some tricks with like bishop e2 or something. Here. It goes there. I mean, I can take, but I think it's a little bit too risky taking because maybe I should have done it actually now that I think about the position. But let's keep going. Yay! Let's think about this. Go here, maybe here. I'm going to pre-move this. Take and king d3. I mean, it's still a draw, but... See what he does. It goes there, so of course I go here. I'm going to try to run the king up, basically. Right. Oh no, bishop e4 is a blunder. Yikes. Um What am I doing here, by the way? Yeah, I messed this up. Now I just have to make a draw. What am I doing? I mean, it's just, this is so stupid of me. Like, I can never win this game. Yeah, it's just a draw. Or not. Okay. I mean, he could have forced a draw there and he didn't. Yeah, there's just no way to win this, basically. It's just, I mean, it's just a theoretical draw. And for some reason, I'm the one trying to play on here, and I don't really know why. Yeah, okay, time to just make a draw. Yeah, let's just make the draw. I thought I had a chance maybe for one move to be better, but I, I don't think I was ever better in this game. I mean, I was up a pawn, but I couldn't really win. So I better here. Uh, King G2. Oh, I had knight of, five, knight of five, bishop of eight. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was slightly better, but I mean, Shaq's such a good player. Like against someone who's 2,600, I would have won this game. 
Oh, Magnus gave Kramnik one and a half minute time odds and still beat him. <laughs> Are you guys serious? Thank you, Extreme Mail, for the two. Thank you, Pleavers, for the 36. Thank you, Uke, two. Thank you, Kino, World Chair. Thank you, Chrome Willy. Wait, are you serious? He, did he give him like a minute and a half timeouts and he, and he played garbage? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got to keep that in mind. Next time I'm going to do that too. Yeah, it was, it was one, 130 to one. Oh, did he, he rolled, he rolled down the time and then they played with 130. Okay. Yeah. Comical. Yeah. Pretty comical. Yay! Pretty good stuff. Yeah. Thank you to Kravnik for the seven month reset. Thank you to Kravnik. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, that, that's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Thank you to Bond Cloud Chess Shop for the nine months. Okay, one game left in round number eight. Um. Yeah, this should be a draw. Yeah, so I guess Magnus now is seven and a half also. Shaq on eight and a half out of nine. Gonna be tough to catch him here. I wonder if I play Magnus here. Probably not, because I assume one of us is gonna play Maxime or Duda here. That's my guess. Queen d5 maybe? Check. Wait, what? Oh wait, sorry, wait, sorry. The pawns. Are, never mind. Pawns. Are, I thought he could queen. I looked at the board wrong. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Duda is Polish fighter. He is. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anywho, when is the candidates? Candidates will be in April, I think. It'll be in April or something. I forget when, but yeah. Have I seen the viral Duda video rejecting shaking hands on Agard's uh, Agar's Twitter? I have not seen it, but I'm aware of it. Um, yeah. Your video seems bigger than usual. Title Tuesday is the biggest day, um, biggest day of streaming bar none. Um, I think we had twenty we had twenty K last week and we're up near twenty K again today. So it's not like this is not some new thing. We're we're this we're getting the troll here, by the way. This game should be a draw. Oh, yeah. Maxim MVL is Leon Beast. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Yay! Need a Gen Daddy for the 41 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We're playing Frederick's Fane. This is actually a good pairing, objectively. Considering all the monsters in this pairing group, this is easily the best I could have asked for. Thank you, CMA. Not that it's easy, but much better. Much better. Okay, we're playing Frederick. I think I'm going to keep playing the Owens defense, named after Clive Owens, the famous actor. Thank you so much to Frank2FM for the 100 bits. I'm going to go Bishop B7, E6. It's a very solid opening. I did get smoked by Jeffrey Zhang earlier when I played this opening. Okay, so C5, C3, Queen D7, all very normal. I've had this position, I think, three times already today. Maybe not this position. I beat Conrad Holt from this position, too. Um, I think Knight E7 is playable here. You can always just trade. Drop the knight back as well. Goes queen d3. Um, I think I can play queen b7 and knight c6, knight c7. That's what I'm going to angle for. I don't know if it's actually good. Probably I'm going to play rook d8 and knight f5 somewhere soon. Queen b5, I think I have knight c6 and knight c7, which should be okay. He's looking at queen b5 very intently here, I think. Was knight d2 logical? Assume knight c6 should be correct. Only problem is my knight on a6 a little bit iffy here. That's the only problem I have. Like, I'd rather this knight go to f5 than c6. Because now I play h5 in my Conrad game, I had the knight going to f5, but here I don't have that option. Um, I guess I'll go here and maybe queen a6 maybe is an idea. Could have put the knight on... Okay, I think I'll play queen a6 off for the trade. He goes queen b1. Okay, now, I could play h5 again. But it looks kind of dubious here. This knight on c7, very iffy. Um, I'm just going to go h6. Play bishop b7, probably castle queenside, maybe. Three subs for three months. Think bro, 
I'm gonna just kind of try to sneak in with the queen. I don't think I can. So I'm just gonna castle queen side. It's probably gonna play f4 here or something. I'm gonna have to trade on in the center at some point, or maybe I can have a time for f5 here. I know this is good, but I'm gonna go for it. Guess I'll pre move this. If I take with the bishop, there's dc5. So I pre move gf6. Goes knight f3, which I don't like, by the way. I think that's feels kind of wrong. Um, I see his idea, but I'm gonna go here in g6, maybe. I see. I'll just go g5. Why not? He's got to take. I take g4. I feel like there's gonna be some queen e2 stuff incoming here as well. There's like queen e2. There's also rook g8. He does it anyway. So if I go queen e2, bishop f2, queen e4, maybe. Gf takes takes maybe. I mean, rook g8 looks strong. Rook f8 looks fine, too. What do I do here? I can't really take. I could sack the rook, but that looks a little bit too bold. If I sack... Oh, wait. If I have queen 2, rook g4? No, that's no good. Um, I think I'll just go here and take me with rook. Rook g1. Now, at some point, I feel like I'm going to have queen... I'm probably going to have to trade or something soon. Can I also move my bishop back, mate? No, I can't. Okay, I've got to pick up the speed here. Got to pick up the moves. Um, G1, what do I do? I mean, I could maybe sack. I don't know if this is actually good, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for this and take. I don't know if this is good, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try to get a little bit tricky here with like queen e2 maybe. There's also a2 hanging. There's a lot of stuff hanging here. F5, I just take with the rook. I hope this works. With queen d3, I mean, of course, I take this one and now I take b2. Like, it's still not wonderful, but. Let's take. As long as I'm not losing here on the spot, it's fine. This is risky doing this, by the way. Very risky. So opening probably just isn't a very good choice against these players. So they seem to be getting bad positions every game. B1. Um, I can go queen a2. I can also go queen a3. Does it matter? Probably not. Let's just go here. What's the count? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, th one, two, three, four. So I've got knight and two, knight and two pawns for 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 a rook. Tricky. Now, do I take with a bishop or not? Also, a big question. Um, my gut says that I should not. So trust my instincts. Got knight d five, maybe. Hit the bishop. Still very tricky. Wait. Oh, he's got rookie six? I don't believe this. He's got rookie six and I... Oh, I don't believe this. <sighs> he's so lucky. Oh, he's so lucky. I don't, I can't. Oh my gosh. That's so unfortunate. Um,
I can take... Now he blunders this one, but... Is this actually winning? Let's go... There, I guess. I can't win. Oh, I blunt. Oh my God. What was that? There's just a draw. Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, it's always a draw. Magus resigned in a plus three position. Okay. Ah. That's why that that's why that's why I needed to not lose earlier. Cause like my opponent just he, I mean he made some mistakes, but he never made big mistakes, and that's just the nature of chess. Uh, it's frustrating. I think you had a fourth street. Thank you so much for fourth street. Oh no, Magnus won. What are you guys talking about? Thank you to Rear. Thank you to Roasted. It's just that's the nature of chess. You play, you play, you play against twenty six hundred plus players every game. You're just not going to win them, especially with increment. Frustrating. All right, Shaq drew a game. He's on nine. Yeah. Boo oo abla boo oo. I don't know what you mean by that, but yeah. I think a tech monster. Just how it goes sometimes. I'm not I'm not playing badly. Other than the one game against Jeffrey, I played pretty well, but that one game. Magnus is not streaming. No, he is not streaming Title Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. The record for the youngest GM is broken. Wait, seriously? Wait, are you guys serious? Is it? Are you guys serious? Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe, may, maybe it is. I, I actually don't know. It is. Who, who broke the record? Um, who broke the record? I don't see anything that says it's broken. So, all right. Uh, title Tuesday grand prize is $1,000. I don't see anything. No, but I saw something earlier on Facebook this morning that was saying something about young, young, like a youngest GM thing. So that's why I wasn't sure if it was legit or not. But of course I get big fish in the last round, which is a terrible pairing as well, but whatever. I'll play G3. Why not? Yeah, probably the... Um, I mean, I needed to win that game against Shaq and probably the game against Jeffrey, but Jeffrey played a great game. I didn't have anything. It was G5. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I play to t how do I play as a serious player? I'm gonna go E4 here. Don't even know if I should take Clavish G2, Knight C3. I'm gonna go Knight C3. Let's see. Go here. It's actually I'm probably justifying his opening. By the way, that's what's funny about this. I'll go here and try to trade some bishops. He can play g4, but I'll go back. I've actually justified his opening for some stupid reason. I don't even know why I've done this. I don't like my opening at all here. 
Plays h5. I think I'm gonna go h3, try to trade some pieces off here, maybe. Oh, it goes h4. I Whoa. Takes. Oh, could he have taken and maybe he could have actually taken twice. Um could go f3 g4. I, I don't I don't like what I'm doing at all, but whatever. Who cares? You just play chess and hope that it works out. That's the the obvious uh grandmaster approach. Just do whatever, hope it works out. If it doesn't, that's just life. So be it. Of course, g4 is terrible. I should have gone f4, f5, obviously. Yeah, th this game I'm playing very poorly as well. Maybe it's not so bad, though. He goes, now he's going to try to trade the bishops, too. It's turning into a bit of a comedy show, this game. Um, Don't actually know what the heck is going on. I mean, what is going on in this game? I'm a little confused. I don't want to trade the bishops. I'm just going to go here and take with the queen, maybe. Go, like, queen g5, maybe. I expected that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Playing this horribly. Go here. I think I'm going to go c4. And if he takes, I'll take with the pawn and play like knight f2, maybe rook d1. I don't really like it, but I think it's okay. I have d4 here as well. And queen a3, I kind of expected, but I thought I had like some tricks with like maybe knight g5 to hit the bishop. Of course, I also am moving too fast. Like I should be using my time here, not just blitzing out these moves. Because we both have two minutes on the clock. And this is not an easy position to play. That, I think, is a mistake. So, queen c1, though. He missed queen c1, and now I think I'm actually going to win the game. Maybe winning is too strong. So, he can trade, go bishop e6 back. It's not like it's losing or anything. It should just be a little bit better for him. Well, maybe not, because he's got knight g6, too. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he goes f6. I did not expect that one. Um actually a pretty good move I'll go back probably run my king to the center try to play d4 at some point colon, closing colon what thank you Matthew Wicker for this oh that's a smiley face thank you for a seven month resub it goes there I expect that. I can play d4 if I want to I mean at some point I also might try to play f4 Hard to judge. Um, this pawn on h4 is pretty solidly solidly placed. I mean, d4 is in the spirit of the position, but it's also risky. But if, if I draw, I get nothing. So, I mean, yeah, if I, if I don't play d4, then what am I actually playing for? It's kind of the attitude I should have. That, that's sort of my attitude like it, it, i mean if i'm not taking risks here to try and win the game then what am i even playing for because the draw gets me literally zero dollars yeah so now i go c4 and knight c knight b3 i mean i don't know if i'm actually better but i feel like i should be maybe a little bit better because i i now have a ton of space in the center he does have a good knight guarding the pawn and it can jump to f4 but i feel like i should be a little bit better here with this uh nice little pawn center who is Magnus playing, by the way? He's got a bad tiebreaker, so I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I have knight b3, which I think is a good move. Knight d3 was also... Ah, uh, knight d3 might have made more sense. Okay, it goes there. So, okay, let's go... I guess I'll play bishop d3. Don't know if it does anything, but it makes sense. Maybe rook c1 and c5 incoming. Let's go rook c1. This knight on g6 looks very iffy here, by the way. Um, the question is, do I have c5? I might have it, but I'm just going to play it slow with king e3. Maybe I'll go rook c2 here. Rook c2, maybe rook b1. Whoa, he actually took. I did not expect that, actually. Um, yeah, I did not expect him to trade, because I thought... That now I get like knight f2 or something in knight e4. He does have f5, I guess. Probably I should have used a little bit more time before blitzing this, but. There might even be king e4 with like the bond cloud idea. 
Hard to judge. Takes with a bishop, not what I expected. Uh, can I play Lebon Cloud and grab a juicer is a big question. I can. Is it good? Unclear. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's I I don't know if it's good, but I'm up on time, so this is where I should use my time and think. There's also rook h no rook h1 bishop d3 is stupid. Knight e4 bishop e4 is probably okay. Can I play for more there? Iffy. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, I, I don't know if this works, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh, here, maybe? I'm king d4, king d3 is my idea. Go here. Have to make sure I don't hang something to d's knights. Now I can go rook h2, and now I've got c5 also. I should be winning here if I'm precise, but let's see if I can actually be precise. Here, I guess. Am I blundering something? Ah, uh, still very tricky. Um, I mean, the knights are jumpy for... I'll go here. I can't tell whose knights are better, basically. Oh, I fork him. I made him with D's knights. Look at D's knights. That's one of the weirdest mates you'll ever see. Look at D's knights. Look at D's knights. That's a beautiful one, actually. Yeah. Oh, Magus won. Oh, great. Magus won, so I'm going to get third. Yikes. This is one of the most beautiful mates I've ever seen, actually, with these knights. Yeah, look at these knights. What do you call this mate? Uh, this mate is close to what we consider the um, Arabian checkmate with a rook and a knight. So one example, if we go back, the Arabian mate is pretty well known. It's, there's this checkmate, which is considered the Arabian with the rook and the knight, where the king can't go anywhere. But it's very rare to get the two knights there. Like, two knights is very strange. You don't, you don't see this often. Um, but it's a double Arabian. Could be a double Arabian mate, yeah. Yeah, Magus beat Shaq. Yeah, I mean, I had my chance. I needed to beat Shaq in that game. It was a little bit better. Couldn't win it. He defended well. That's life. A little bit sad. Oh, oh, wait, Maxime. No, Magus does not win. Maximus. Maximus Vashilagrov. I mean, that's karma for you, right? Because he, he really destroyed Magnus in the Blitz, in the World Blitz Championship. Um, and then Magnus somehow won anyway, despite getting crushed in that game. So this is karma, I guess. Um, yeah, MVL's going to win. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much to Rui Lopez for the prime. Yeah. Yeah. Maxime. Yeah. Maximus. Yeah. I think I'm third on tiebreaks. I won in Shaq lost. We'll see if I'm right, but I think I'm going to finish third on tiebreaks. I won my last round and, and Shaq lost, but we'll see. I mean, welcome to title Tuesday where it's just a ridiculous event. Now everyone's too strong. I mean, it's just too strong. Title Tuesday is becoming a nightmare to play. I mean, obviously, it's great for viewership and everything, but it's, like, very, very hard to win. Very hard. Mm-hmm. Top five is... Well, I mean, look at the top seven. Levon, Duda, Ferugia, myself, Shakriar, Magnus, and Maxime Vasha the Grob. I mean, that's just insane. Actually insane. What am I drinking? I have a smoothie here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Maxime wins on tiebreak for sure. He's way too far ahead. Um, only question is, do I get third or fourth? I don't think I get fifth because I won my game. But I might get, I might get third because I won in Shaq losses last round. So that's what we're keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for. Um, Kramnik lost to an IM. Hey, that's life. That's tough when you're, not, when you're not young anymore. That's just life. Okay, we have one of the El Clasicos, of course. Pretty typical. Bishop G1. Yeah, typical El Clasico. Okay, we got Bishop G1, Bishop A7. I mean, all roads lead to Rome. Yeah, you're going to say he missed a round, but you, you could also say he, he missing the round means he got much different pairings too. Not that he wouldn't have still scored well, but assuming he would have had the same score, 
that's 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 a little bit uh, a little bit wrong too. It's the same thing as when people are saying that um when people are saying that uh when people are saying that um they're saying like Duba for example like it's so unfair that he wasn't paired on, on a certain score. What is that horrible chess.com sound by the way? I don't get third. Oh, I don't. Oh, what? Oh, somebody I played must have dropped out. Oh, that's disgusting. I get fifth. I get a hundred dollars. Oh, disgusting. So somebody I played must have dropped out because my tiebreaker was far ahead of these other guys. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I think fifth place is a hundred bananas. Am I wrong? Let me see. Oh, it's very disappointing. Titles of the prize is chess com. Yeah. Fifth place, I get a hundred dollars. I spend my morning playing against these monsters and I get a hundred bucks. Terrible. Thank you, Avatar, for the 14 months. Appreciate it.